Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Janos again, coming in with one of the, another of the Poke Girl series. This one is Zardy 6 As you can see, it's obviously based off the Charizard. Quick run through there, kind of giving you what this video is going to get to. Tried two different coloring styles on this one. Uh, this is the one I ended up posting. I did kind of one that was more of a 3D render of it. I uh, didn't really like how it ended up, so I re just recolored it this way. <clears throat> Here you'll see me get some of uh, my bass lines down. Kind of, I wasn't 100% sure how I wanted this pose to be right off the bat. Um, so I went in and just kind of playing with it. I think I actually did a couple sketches on paper just to kind of get a, a general feel for kind of the pose. But I still, I was like, oh, I'll just move over to the iPad and... I can erase there pretty easily so I just moved it over to it and just started kind of figuring out where and what I kind of wanted in there there you'll see I kind of hit the edge of my paper and uh, obviously if I was on paper that would be trouble but on the iPad you just kind of select it and minimize it down so I was e easy to move and there you even saw me move the head down so again instead of having to sit and erase and go through and you know redraw the head which I don't mind doing it's just you know sometimes it can make your paper not look how you want it to look so I didn't have to worry about any of that with the iPad and Procreate still trying to figure out where stuff's going here the tail there I just well I wanted to show it coming off the backside and have some flame coming up <coughs> Now I've got several of these ready to be recorded and most of them are your general pinup poses such as this. There you'll see me adjust the body, adjust the head again because it wasn't tilting how I kind of wanted it to look. Um, I think in the future I'm going to actually pick some of their signature moves and do more of action shots sort of deal. Um, still just I I'm pretty new to the whole drawing on digital and you know making it look how I want it to look because it's a lot different when you do it. A lot of people say, oh, it's just like drawing on paper. It's really not. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of similar aspects to it, but it's not really you being able to just take it and, you know, put an exact thing you would have done on paper on digital. And there you saw me. I moved to a second layer, um, which is the great thing about digital is you can always move to a second layer. And I had no idea how I wanted the hair there. You can see me just going kind of crazy with it a couple of times. This is me just getting some uh, more this isn't finished lines this is more of uh, making sure the lines are actually where I want them to be you can see me kind of just kind of sketching in the hands there and um, playing around with the size of different features of her make sure just kind of when I step back and look at it does it make sense or is it not really what I'm going for here I had the idea for flame hair flame underwear so I went with that as well kind of a flame bra to I believe before we get to the end of it and you kind of see where I decided to work that in and really just getting the line work in and making sure it halfway makes sense the hair there I still hadn't got it how I wanted it down I thought well if she's coming and she's flying there's got to be wind probably coming from somewhere so I decided the hair and the flame kind of to push out that way and then I started just kind of making sure the wings make sense where they're at. And then I made another layer. Turned the first layer off, uh, left the second layer, lowered the opacity on the second layer, and made a third layer. And on this third layer, I'm kind of just going over these second pencils and trying to make sure I have everything pretty much where I want it before I actually put some color on it. You know, in some of the uh, the later work I do, I really get to um, more on the pencil side because I don't know when I was getting used to Procreate. Cause, I mean, this is just this is some of the first drawings I've ever done on Procreate. I mean, I'm not even over ten drawings on here. I think yeah, besides some random sketches playing with brushes. But when looking at it that way, I just I don't know what would look good if that makes sense because I wasn't aware that you could just you know find that perfect pencil setting where it's just like you're drawing on paper or that looks just like you're drawing on paper so now uh, going back and recording these I can kind of look at these and think back 
man, I would have done that differently if I had done it today, but I don't want to go back and change it because this is a learning process for me, so you'll kind of see it as my videos progress. You'll probably see a lot of changes going on with the detail of work I put into, like the first few steps and things like that. Don't get me wrong, you always start with the outline and work from there, but as far as, you know, some of my new stuff, I really like, I don't want it to look like inks. I want it to look more like I did my pencil work and refine my pencil work, and it just... You know, you can darken the pencil lines and color over them and stuff like that. And I've heard of, you know, professional comic book artists and things like that, that, you know, they don't need inkers anymore. They just do their pencils to a point to where when they turn it over to the digital colors, they just kind of darken it up and it goes from there, you know, and they don't need the, the inking step. They don't need that extra part and it, it doesn't lose anything that the original artist had. Don't get me wrong, I love inking. I love inkers, but, you know, sometimes what was originally drawn when looked at looks better than the inked part of it and the vice versa you know some artists have that that almost too loose of a feel and the inkers really make it look a lot better so i guess it depends on what style you are depending on if you really should be you know doing that big inking step or not <clears throat> and here i think uh this is another one where i decided to color the lines so there i switched them over to an orange color just kind of filled them in also i did and this one I did different color lines. You'll notice on the wings there, I actually did the wing color and then left her as part of all the rest of the color. And what I did that is I just kind of selected those portions of the lines and then filled them in. And now I'd get to move into the actual coloring part. So a lot of that was me selecting and then filling into the color part of it. And now I'm just figuring out where where along the lines of the mid sections going to be those colors so you saw me selecting that out and I'm filling that in and this is each color is done on a different layer so I can go back and edit it same thing with the hair there selected the lines filled it in for the wings I think I just colored around into the lines filled it into the middle those of you who don't know how to fill in with procreate um, you just grab the color and actually hold it and bring it and drop it into a space and you can you can adjust the um, up and down after you drop it like how sensitive it is to you know the open lines and stuff so you don't fill your whole page up with different colors and now here i'm going in and putting in some of the highlights through the selection tool guys i just selected the parts i thought would be darker and lighter and just went from there really heavy use of the selection tool on this piece yeah you know, selected that color selected the sections i thought needed to be colored and went with it and here you can kind of see breaking it down from top to bottom and kind of what it ended up being the flame part I actually think I blurred out the yellow so it kind of give it that glow look and as always guys thanks for watching if you enjoyed it like and subscribe thank you